Well, hi, it's Lori Levine of the Levine team serving the Greater Phoenix Real Estate Area, and here we are today looking at a DR Horton built condo in Chandler, just a mile east of uh, Chandler Fashion Mall. It's uh, surrounded by a little bit of uh, corporate kind of uh, strip malls, uh, and then just immediately to the east of here, there's some, some neighborhoods as well. So, a little bit of a mixture. It's really quick access to the freeway, really close to the Fashion Mall where all the shopping and the restaurants are. And, uh, yeah, nice looking buildings. They build pretty much the same kind of structures all across the valley. Uh, parked just over there. And this is right smack in the middle of this particular grouping of buildings, which is about in the middle of the entire complex. So we're just going to head right in. So when we get in the door, we're going to be heading up a set of stairs. There's a little character window in here to bring in some light. And that's going to go to the main living area. Uh, inside this closet is the hot water tank and it's tiled in there and I can see there's an extra box of tile there. Always nice to get some leftover tile. Okay, and then right through here is a double garage and I've got a little bit of extra space over on the right hand side of the door. Most garages that are built in Phoenix are not like uh, Alberta garages, they're like a foot on either side of the door so it's nice to see that. And uh, got a little bit of... Oh, that's the furnace. Quite often we see those up in the attic, especially up in the bungalows. There's a bunch of paint that was used here, some crutches. Someone was injured that lived here, I guess. Maybe that's their hardship. And uh, there's an electrical panel right over there. Okay, so we're going to head up the stairs. And I can see that there's some spots on the stairs. Looks like someone was carrying Coca-Cola up here or something. Drip, drip, drip. But uh, I know you have plans to take this out and replace it with tile or something, so that would be fine. Okay, when we get to the top of the stairs, that's immediately where the patio is. The living area is just right off to the right, so we'll come back to there. But we're just going to head out to the patio. Room for two chairs and a little cocktail table. Basically a little hideaway outside kind of thing, because it's uh, covered and... If you stand at the edge, this is what you'll, you'll see. You see the rest of the complex looking down that way and down that way. So that's pleasant enough. Okay. Okay. So here's the stairs that I came up. On the other side of the wall is the stairs that goes up to the main uh, to the uh, bedrooms area, where you have two bedrooms and two bathrooms. But uh, here's the kitchen, regular laminate counter, but it's color is nice, the condition is good, looks like maple cabinets with a nice stain. Not sure if that fridge is staying, I'll have to check the listing, usually they don't stay. People take their fridges with them generally and leave the stove and dishwasher and microwave and that behind. And there's a little island, doesn't extend out very far but that countertop can always be replaced then you can get a couple of stools in there. This would be where you would put a little eating table, it would be right in this area here and I'll give you another angle of this from the other side of the room. And then that would be the living room. Yeah, so probably putting the entertainment center on, on that wall would make the most sense. So I'm just going to carry on and show you where the half bath is around the corner here. And then in this area is a pantry, double doors into it. Okay, and then here, here's a view from where I came in. The patio and that dining area and the living room, so lots of windows, just uh, overlooks uh, on the garage side, so uh, that's everyone else's uh, living rooms and that that we see across the way there, and uh, there we go. So now we're ready to head up the stairs, so this is nice and cozy, so laminate product almost looks like an engineered wood, but Flooring is pretty easy to change and inexpensive if someone doesn't like it. Tile can be installed for less than $3 a square foot. 18 inch tile and carpeting for about a buck and a quarter. So when we get to the top of the stairs, um, we have these windows along that wall that overlook, bring in some light. Another one at the side here, no shortage of windows. And then here we have two bedrooms. They're side by side. So it's not a, they're not separated for additional privacy like sometimes we see in a single level condo. But uh, there's room for a queen size bed and a nightstand in this bedroom. And then it has its own bathroom. 
with uh, some cupboards and a closet. Tub and shower combination, a sink and a toilet. So the basics. Just turn around so you can see that little cupboard. Might be for a linen closet. Got cable TV in here. Vaulted ceiling, so that gives you an illusion of space as well. Opens things up. So same thing here. This is the other bedroom. Uh, you can see he had a contraption on the wall. He had a TV hanging there. So, and hmm, looks like wired for speakers, although I don't see where they are. Uh, could be from downstairs. And so we have the same thing in here. Queen size bed and uh, actually a skinny nightstand on both sides will fit in both of these. This one has a walk-in closet. And then it has your basic bathroom, nice size vanity, tub and shower. Okay, and then looking from the upper story outside, you see you know, the same kind of thing. The bedrooms on the units across the way, and the garage is down underneath. So, I'm just going to turn off this light as I go. And uh, I'm going to turn them there too. Oops. There we go. We got them all out. And we'll just head on back down the stairs. So there you have it, Lori Levine of the Levine team signing off from Chandler in the East Valley. Bye for now.